today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am my name is Lisa I'm a crude youtuber that's trying to be a long no by and today I am going to do a video why I don't know like where to go don't really know what to do but um, I'm going to talk a little bit yeah okay it's going to be get rid with me and I will see like how it will go sometimes when I go go and do get rid with me they go amazing often they go so and so and i don't know i feel a little bit how is that maybe is that maybe better so okay so first off i was planning on doing a new theme week and i was planning on doing a gloss god week i have five palettes from the Swedish brand Gloss Gods and I was like so stoked I pick out the palettes and now I I just feel stuck but I'm going to use one of these today and I will see because this is also a thing that I want to talk about my theme weeks so I'm going to use this today making it flawless and uh, yes I'm going to do a look with this and uh, the palette looks like this so this is a collab palette with the gloss gods and making it flawless that is a swedish influencer and uh, yeah it looks like this so i'm just going to do a look and i'm not sure like what i want to do but i think we will get somewhere so I will just pry my eyes and okay I don't know what type of get rid with me this will be maybe it's just something that you can have on in the background or doing your makeup to it or it's going to be a sad depressing get rid with me I have no idea <laughs> I do once again feel a bit unmotivated and I don't know if I want to say lost but I feel a little bit Meh. It feels like I am a little bit lost. Okay, if we're going to, I can start talking about my theme weeks. I have been loving to have my theme weeks and you also seem to have really liked them. And it has been so fun to use palettes in my collection that I don't use that often. Like my Melt palettes, that was a really fun week. And it was so fun to do my... Um, YouTube collab palettes week but okay how should I I think it's a little bit hard to because I have done like theme week normal week theme week normal week and <laughs> I have been struggling a little bit like I don't know if you do not do YouTube or like anything other way like Instagram or TikTok or anything this do take a lot of time and for me it takes a lot of my energy as well and I never want to compare myself to others because I don't I know that it's not good for me but now I'm just like down in this rabbit hole to say it like that like you know i watch a bigger youtuber uh, and they have every everything is so freaking nice like the quality of the video is nice the background is nice and you know like just good quality content and i beat myself up about that it's not me um like i have no background and i know like we live in in Sweden it is one be a two bedroom apartment a two yeah you don't say it like that but I guess in English it's just one one bedroom apartment we have one bedroom and one living room a kitchen and toilet and I do not have the space to do anything more nice and also I do work full time and I just want to be able when I come home from work to just I just put up my ring light put my camera on my tripod and then I film and I need that because before that I had um, 
I had set so much more things up like my soft boxes and everything and it actually even though it took like five minutes I was actually no I don't want to film because I have not energy to do that before I know it might sound like super strange but that is how I felt and now I do really like that I can do this really quick like yeah just putting on putting up my ring light and putting up my camera and then I'm ready to go and I do not have time to fix everything I do not have a room where I can have things up because I cannot have this ring light up because if I do Astrid will turn it over if you don't know Astrid is our big main coon that is so freaking clumsy and she tips everything over and she's deaf and she just she just is so clumsy so I can't have like anything up that I am afraid of breaking so I need to have like take everything down every time I film so I need to have it like this and I just need to realize that I am not a youtuber in that way that this is not my job and I cannot compare myself to people that has this as their job because at least 40 hours a week I am doing other stuff and also I have noticed this like I'm sitting in front of a computer almost the whole day at work and to come home and edit and sit in front of a computer after my work is done it is not it's not something that i want to do and i also want to spend time with my boyfriend and i also want to do other things but yeah i, I just struggle to have have a good rhythm <laughs> in this oh god this get rid of me is getting so boring uh, so i'm just struggling with that a little bit and i do you hate when I start to compare myself with others because this is just the way it is for me and uh, I, I don't think it's good to compare yourself to others and I do not want to do that but uh, sometimes it's just really hard for me like sometimes I'm so sensitive about things like I compare myself and I just feel bad about everything and I've talked about this before that I want to like find my own style and I want to like figure out who I am and what I do like and it feels awful to do that at 33 but I guess that's just the way it is and I have as you see cut my hair I did two undercuts and I was so so happy when I got home from the hairdresser like I did love my hair I did film a video the day that I cut my hair and I was so stoked I just love it so so much and then I was a little bit nervous because I was going to work the next day and at my work it's nothing like you need to look perfect like I can have stretched ears that is no problem I can have my septum it's no problem people has tattoos people has tattoos on their faces and it's not like a problem at my work but um, one of my colleagues um, she didn't like my hair like at all she was like I didn't thought that you was going to cut it like that I thought you just was joking and some days I can take it like some days it doesn't even bother me at all if uh, nobody likes how I look because I know that I for some people don't look as everybody else and I am like used to getting looked at sometimes when I'm out and about even though I don't think I look that special um, but that day it it did affect me a little bit and I hate when it do that and I just sometimes feel like I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to look different like maybe I shouldn't look the way I want um, 
and uh, yeah it's just me being a little bit more like sensitive some days I don't know if you also have some days like that that some days you are like super strong and I did lose an eyeshadow brush and you can take like whatever life throws at you like you feel so good about yourself that it doesn't care what anybody say but some days you like suck everything up like a little sponge and I hate when I have days like that because I do not want to be like that and I'm really trying to like okay I love my new hair and it doesn't matter what everybody else think but some days I just feel like if you don't have anything nice to say about someone then you can just shut up if you don't like how somebody is dressed or how somebody is looking just ch shut up about that because you are only going the chances or the risk is that you're going to do somebody a little bit sad and I know like some days I do not care about this at all you can say whatever you want about me and it, it it doesn't like touch me and do you say like a war of ghosts no you don't say that in english and sweden you do but yeah some days we're just super sensitive and i don't know where i want to go with this other than um I'm just a person that wants to find myself in the what I sometimes feel like I'm too old to do and I know that I'm not but like some days it feels like I'm for free I should already have figured out who I am and who I want to be and how I want to look but I just haven't and please tell me that you also have some of these days when you just feel the opposite of untouchable but I do think that I still like my hair I do think it looks good I I don't know if I want to do them a little bit bigger I don't know but I, at the same time I still want to be able to like hide them and okay about my theme weeks I didn't talk about this that that much I don't know like if I want to name everything like yeah my melt week and stuff like that and I don't know if I just should do looks with the different palettes and just go with the flow I I don't know I don't know what I want to do with my few weeks I know that I want to keep continue doing them and I don't know if this is the start of a new theme week but I also want to because when I'm doing my theme weeks it is often kind of short videos Oh, Ines is here. Um, it's often kind of short videos, like under, yeah, around like 12 minutes. And it just feels like a stressed uh, makeup video and just throwing on eyeshadows and I have to do a little of my glitter primer. And it feels like just stressed, but um, at the same time, I need to find time to edit as well. I don't know. I just think that I am um, a little bit out of balance right now. And I do really want, I have talked about this for so long, that I want to do like fashion content, but doing fashion content when you're not having, okay, things do affect me that I don't want to affect me. Like, I am not skinny, I guess I am mid-sized, and I do not know if I'm like comfortable of showing off how I look, like my full body, and it feels so, so strange, like, I do not have any problems with showing myself without makeup on YouTube and like having yeah looking really tired I 
and have like a little bit of a messy hair I do not I'm not that bothered about that but it scares me <laughs> to showing off like my whole body and that is actually a thing that I've been thinking about like you know people that you have followed for years and then you think about it that you have never seen their full body you do not know how long they are do you, you do not know their body type and I don't really care about it but it's just strange like to have people that you see as friends in other parts of the world and you have never seen them like their whole body and you have never seen like yeah how they walk and how they act and stuff like that and I think that is feels a little bit strange and yeah I don't know I just want to do f fashion content some time I don't know if I want to do it on my Instagram maybe but I just want to like figure out how my style is and I thought it might be like a fun thing to do together with you but yeah I don't I don't know if I'm like comfortable enough about it to do that I have no idea and it just feels like a little bit yeah I don't know this I am totally fine with like showing my face without makeup um, it doesn't bother me like at all and uh, yeah but <laughs> showing like my whole body and how I look and how I yeah it just feels a little bit strange and I hope that some of you can relate to what I'm saying right now so I don't seem like super strange Okay, so I guess that the eyes are done and I do really like this. I did use this green shade, then this one and this one on my lid and also like the black one a little bit. And I do like this. I do not know if I think it's like super special. Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to take away the fallout and maybe we should do the base together, but I'm going to be honest. I don't know what more to talk about. Maybe I should do like a super easy base. Okay, I'm going to take away the fallouts and then I'll go back. Okay, so for my face, I was thinking about use there. <laughs> using Nabla. So I'm going to use the Skin Realist and this concealer. So I'm just going to pop this concealer on. So yeah, I don't know how I will do with my theme weeks, if I will have them like dedicated theme weeks or if I just will use like palettes for a week from a brand and uh, do like normal makeup videos. Um, I don't know. And it's the same thing as always. I can feel better tomorrow, I doubt it though, <laughs> but um, yeah. Sometimes you have bad days, weeks, month, and sometimes it's better. And I just have, yeah, I don't know. I was, me and my boyfriend was visiting some friends this weekend. And uh, that we haven't seen for a while in another town. Um, one of the biggest towns in Sweden. And... I, when I was younger, I always saw myself as a big town girl, a uh, big city girl, maybe say, but like now, um, we were in Gothenburg, it's the second largest town in Sweden, and I was like, it's so many people everywhere, and it's cars everywhere, and we did checking some stores I was uh, at monkey uh, which I do love I eh, do monkey exist in like I know it's in other European countries like I know it's in Germany and in the UK but like is monkey thing in the US I have no idea and I know it's like in Denmark and stuff um so I was there and uh, 
I didn't buy anything. And we were out eating and I was like, I don't think I can ever live in a big city. Like, I do not stand people. And I've always thought like, yeah, I think I'm a big city girl, but uh, I'm not. Okay. This always looks a little bit funky on me. It like, it is a little bit too dark when I put it on, but it usually looks really good after a little while. And uh, we were there, we took the car up and we're there on Saturday. Just hanging out with them, we haven't seen them for a really, really long time. And uh, slept over. And then we went home on Saturday, no, Sunday, and I was like drained yesterday. <laughs> no, it's Tuesday today. I was like drained the rest of the day on like Sunday. I was like, yeah, I'm going to fix videos for the upcoming week that I have edited. I just need to upload them to YouTube and it's going to fix thumbnails and that is really good because I can do this now and yeah, it, I was just, I tried. I start my computer, logged into like YouTube, start to upload videos and then I was like, I do not have the energy to do that. And I know. <laughs> I am an introvert, like, I'm not like an ounce of an extrovert, I am like thousand percent an introvert, but I didn't thought this was going to drain me like that. I was completely drained and maybe that is why I feel I am a little bit tired or unmotivated now, I don't know, but like, yeah. I've always think like some someday in my life I'm going to live in a big city. <laughs> but no. No, I just feel I'm never going to do that. I do not uh, like people that live in New York and or in like I don't know, another big city like Tokyo, how the hell do you survive? How? I am so impressed by you because I, I can't stand it. I cannot. I think it's just awful and when it's people like everywhere. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to do a base with only like cream products. And okay, my little skin realist, can you maybe look better soon? Maybe it looks a little bit better. I don't think it that looked that off, like maybe. <laughs> Because I like how it looks on my skin. It's just the color, but like, this is the lightest color. This is fair. Yeah, I don't know. It usually looks a little bit better, I think, after a while, because it's you know, like sinking into my skin. But yeah, so I did realize that this weekend that uh, I will never live in a big city. And I like in Sweden measurements, I guess I live in like a normal city. It's it's not big, but it's not small. It's a city, it's the 19th the biggest city in Sweden. But like in Sweden, we are like 10 million people. So we are not that many people and Sweden is kind of big, but yeah, whatever. Okay, I was thinking about using this very nude. Um, so yeah, uh, that was something that I did realize this weekend that I am not a big city girl. Like really realized it. Like <laughs> asked my friend because she is from a kind of small town from the beginning, not her husband, but she is and she was like, no. I don't like this either. See, I don't know where I wanted to go with this. Like, this is a get ready with me that is usually happening on my channel. Like, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no idea what what I am doing. But I guess I'm doing this. Okay, I'm going to set this. Yeah, and then I'm going to take 
Oh my, no. I'm going to take my, because I'm going to use this. This is the Berry New. Did I say that? As my highlighter as well. And this is a little bit hard. You have to like warm it up. And um, yeah, if you have never seen one of my Get Red With Me's, this is what it is. Just a chaotic thing of, I don't know, everything and nothing. And I was thinking about doing a video after this, but like, I don't know, I don't even know the time. It's uh, 11 minutes after 6. And okay, I don't know. <laughs> This is one of the funniest doodles I have ever seen, like graffiti that I have ever seen. I saw this on a store that is nearby us. Let's check this out. This is just so freaking funny. Fuck the police. And it's like Swedish. It's hilarious. Um. Was there anything more that I want to say with it? I don't know. So yeah, I am thinking of how I want to do my theme weeks. And if I really want to do it like a dedicated theme. Or if I just want to do it like... Yeah, like this is going to be one of the theme videos. For my Gloss Gods week and not name them. <laughs> because, okay. I have never liked want to be big on YouTube. Of course, I think it's fun to grow, um, but also a bit scary. And at the same time, it's not like something that is super important to me. Like, if I don't grow, I don't grow. If I grow, then I grow. But at the same time, I want to make it look better, like with uh, what my videos are names. And it feels like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to have like Gloss Gods week because I think if I'm doing too many theme weeks, it's going to look not that nice. Mm, so yeah, I'm I'm going to try to figure this out because I'm not going to do a no buy next year. I don't know if I'm going to do a low buy or what I want to do, uh, but I know that I want to keep continue doing my theme weeks because I think it's really really fun and I think it's really like an easy way to use my collection more which I love so I want to keep doing that and I don't want to yeah I don't know where I'm going I don't want it just to be like theme weeks theme weeks theme weeks or do I want that is that what my shower is going to be all about I'm going to try to figure this out so I can come with a good answer in the end of the year. So just bear with me. <laughs> I think I can figure this out eventually. Okay, I think that the look is done and um, okay, I'm just going to put on my mascara. I'm going to take a teaspoon in my waterline from Colourpop and I'm going to find a red lip to this. So I took one of my favorite reds, like all the reds are my favorite. I took Ambition from Kaleidos. This is their lip tonic, so it's more like a stain or not now, but it's yeah. I don't know, I just love this. I do wish that the color was a little bit more muted, but I do like it. And I guess that was all for this Get Red With Me. I don't know if I got everything out that I wanted, but I just wanted to get something off my chest and like talk to you and just you know that I don't know what I want to do or how I want to do my theme weeks. I still want to do them because I think it's really fun and I think I finally found like my thing. And also like if you ever meet someone in your life that you don't like how they look, do not say a word about it because you never know how people will feel and you never know how people are that day like some days I can take everything like nothing bothers me at all and some days I can break down if somebody raises their voice to me a little bit it's different from day to day so just remember that be nice to everybody 
and also be nice to yourself. I need to be better on that note. But yeah, I guess that was all for this kid with me. I do really hope that you liked it. And I think this is getting kind of long. Maybe not. I don't know. And I do not want to edit this because... Yeah. Um, the makeup, I do really like it. Uh, the only thing that I even like notice now... Like, I, it doesn't feel like any of the looks I do is like unique to the eyeshadow palette. It feels like I could have done this look with a lot of other eyeshadow palettes in my collection. Maybe this, that's just is my no by me talking, I don't know. But yeah, I do really hope that you have liked this kit red with me and also if I always say this with my get ready with me so when I talk a little bit more about personal stuff if you feel the same as me just know that you are never alone I don't think there is anything any one of your feelings that you have and it's only you in the whole world that has them it feels like that often I know but I know that you are not alone hey Astrid Astrid is behind the camera. I don't know what she's doing. She was looking out the window. Now she's sniffing around. Yeah, what is this, Astrid? She lost this lip furry thing. Like, if you uh, like to have black clothes as me, never get a long haired or never get a white mancoon. It was not a super good idea but yeah i do really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do i am maybe sometimes a little bit happier than this but yeah if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye